Here's your weather video for this Sunday, February the 19th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. And it was on this date in 1884 that probably the first recorded super outbreak of tornadoes in U.S. history occurred. Uh, we know that there were at least 60 tornadoes, probably twice that many. It could have rivaled the 1974 or the 2011 super outbreaks. Uh, it certainly did in fatality. Somewhere between 200 and 1,200 people died from Mississippi up to the Ohio River all the way across to Virginia, and hence the name of the outbreak. It is called the Enigma Outbreak because the death toll is just an enigma. So a terrible day in weather history affected Alabama terribly. Leeds was hit, uh, more than 10 fatalities there. The town of uh, Goshen, uh, that familiar to you, the community schoolhouse there was destroyed near Piedmont, killing the teacher and injuring 25 of the students severely. Still the worst outbreak on record for the state of Georgia, even to this day, and a terrible, terrible day. Um, weather no enigma across the U.S. Uh, early on this Sunday morning. Just some winter weather advisories, winter storm watches for the northern Rockies. You'll see that uh, thanks to an upper trough that's out in that area. Lots of wind advisories, vigorous surface pressure systems, uh, high and low causing those uh, pressure gradients to be strong and producing um, uh, wind advisories all the way from the plains of Kansas back through the Rockies into the uh, Sierras, California. Good news for those folks. They're going to see maybe as much as another four to five feet of snow in the Cascades in the next 10 days. And uh, much of the West will be affected by snows in coming days. I'm going to start off with temperatures today uh, to kind of give you a picture of what's going on. This is the main weather story for us here in Alabama. 60s today, after the 50s we saw yesterday, that'll feel nice. But 70s uh, for Monday and Tuesday, 80s for Wednesday and Thursday, is that not ridiculous? We'll be dealing with some record highs at that point. We'll fall back a little bit on Friday, but by Saturday, 80s are going to be common again, and then we'll fall slowly as we go on through time. Now, what we're going to start out with, uh, taking a peek at today, is the uh, SPC outlooks. Today, the SPC, not worrying about severe uh, anywhere across the United States. Matter of fact, i got to get the right day pulled up here. No activity expected today. Now, on Monday, um, as a big upper trough to the north sort of sinks its way southward. A few showers and thunderstorms will form over Tennessee, uh, drop down into northern Mississippi, Alabama, and Arkansas. This is late Monday night. This period is primarily focusing on. And then as we um, move into Tuesday, um, the predictability is too low, but I think we'll have to call out the chance that extreme north Alabama could see a few strong thunderstorms with hail. Um, no damaging winds or tornadoes. Um, that's going to be Wednesday. The SPC uh, outlooking the Arklamis areas from uh, central Mississippi back into southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana, places like Jackson, Greenville, uh, up into Little Rock, Shreveport, Alexandria, Louisiana will deal with a chance of severe thunderstorms Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night. Uh, limping over here into Alabama, um, before the night is over. But the predictability as we go to Thursday, too low, says the SPC, and not outlooking anything for Friday or Saturday. The WPC does tell us the uh, QPF value is going to be high to the north of Alabama. Rainfall amounts will average one to two inches across Kentucky and along the Ohio River Valley, southern Indiana, and Ohio. Those amounts will drop as you uh, travel south along I-65 around an inch uh, in Tennessee, falling to less than one half inch over the Tennessee Valley and down to less than a quarter inch by the time you reach Birmingham. We're starting off cloudy, fairly cloudy this morning, but skies are already beginning to clear a bit. Uh, upper level disturbance passing to the north brought us those clouds overnight last night. But as you can see, as we go through the day today, those clouds will... Um, uh, kind of thin a bit, just keep us partly sunny to partly cloudy throughout the day. 
Uh, could be a nice looking sunset tonight. So get those cameras ready and be ready to send those pictures in of your most favorite beautiful sunsets. Uh, clouds will increase a little bit again overnight tonight. And certainly clouds are going to be no stranger to us as we go through Monday, Tuesday, uh, a little bit of sunshine on Wednesday, Thursday. But you can see uh, we're going to spend a lot of time in the clouds in the in the coming days. We're starting off in the 30s across Alabama today. Uh, literally the entire state, with the exception of Mobile, experiencing those 30s this morning. But we'll warm up quite nicely this afternoon to the 50s in the Tennessee Valley. Lower and middle 60s across central Alabama, south Alabama, will be uh, flirting with 70 degrees later today. Uh, but by tomorrow, most everyone will be in the 70s. Only Tennessee Valley being left out in the upper 60s. And by Tuesday, um, it looks like we'll be hard-pressed to find uh, a 60-degree a reading anywhere in Alabama. We'll be pushing middle 70s to upper 70s across the central part of the state. Look at those 80s here by Wednesday. And then by Thursday, more 80s, middle 80s, uh, maybe even some readings around 86. Alabama could very well be one of the warmest places in the nation uh, by Thursday. We fall back just a bit on Friday as a weak cold front works its way through, but we make a rebound on Saturday before rain and thunderstorms return by Sunday. Now, model fans, let's uh, take a look at uh, what you can expect. This is the uh, upper pattern across North America from the GFS on this Sunday morning, showing a big trough of low pressure all over Canada, extending down into the uh, northern and central Rockies, big upper low off the uh, Pacific coast of California, Baja, California. But the most dominating feature for us here in Alabama is this huge ridge of high pressure. Subtropical ridge over the uh, Gulf Coast, or really the Gulf of Mexico, into the Caribbean, ridging up over the southeastern United States with a uh, a complementing ridge there over New England and off the northeast coast of the United States. Going through time, uh, the subtropical ridge will hold. The uh, trough to the north will bulge. It'll uh, join forces with that trough sliding out of Old Mexico into, te into Texas by Wednesday. And that system ejecting Wednesday night and Thursday will cause our chances of rain and thunderstorms and that severe weather to our west. By Thursday, the uh, western trough will be dominating that part of the country, and a huge ridge of high pressure will cover the east coast. That subtropical ridge will move into the central Bahamas and uh, will continue to protect Alabama. And look at those heights rising over us for Friday and Saturday. At the surface, we're a little bit cooler, but by Saturday, we're back in the 80s. The western system is on the move by Saturday, and that's going to bring our next rain chances in here. The uh, trough breaks off from the northern stream, uh, cuts off into an upper low that will swing through Arkansas by late Sunday night, and it'll be weakening as it crosses Alabama, Mississippi, and Tennessee on Monday. And then the week two period looks like it'll start off dry and probably remain dry until Thursday or Friday of that following week. Be watching a system by that Friday night, the third. You saw it become negatively tilted there. And as it does, that means the potential for severe weather. Model fans, this is the surface uh, precipitation depiction off the GFS. Showing high pressure this morning near Columbia, South Carolina, large and in charge, keeping us dry through the day today. We'll be warming into the 60s. Um, going back to, uh, to Monday, this is Monday noon, look at those showers beginning to develop over West Virginia and Kentucky. That's along the leading edge of that uh, upper trough as it tries to drop to the south. Some of those showers and thunderstorms may get into northwest and north Alabama Monday night. Some of those could be strong with some hail, and I think that same trend will continue on Tuesday. We'll watch, see if that's true. The system lifts back to the north as a warm front on Tuesday night and Wednesday, but by then that southwest system is ejecting, uh, creating another low-pressure system over Kansas that will be moving into Missouri and then on up into Illinois. Uh, showers and thunderstorms will move into Alabama Wednesday night. Uh, there'll be the remnants of those uh, stronger storms over Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi earlier in the day. Uh, but it looks like it could be wet and stormy Wednesday night. The cold front drops to the south of Birmingham on Thursday. But the rain is pretty much gone into Georgia by late afternoon. I think we have a mostly dry day. 
uh, except for some areas maybe in the I-85 corridor. Um, and then we should see a little bit of clearing. And as we go into Friday, high pressure will begin to take over with the competing centers there in eastern North Dakota uh, to the west of Dallas and north of Nashville. And those will keep us dry for Friday, a little bit cooler, calling Friday temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. And then Saturday, a, a warm spring-like day with a nice southerly flow. If you're going to the beaches of Alabama and northwest Florida, watch out for the rip currents. Those winds are going to become uh, quite breezy, and that will produce uh, very favorable conditions for rip currents. And as a matter of fact, that following week, is Rip Current Awareness Week. Do you know how many people we lose to rip currents on the Gulf Coast every year? Something that's just uh, totally inexcusable and something we're hoping to prevent with time. But uh, the rain and thunderstorms will organize, move into Alabama Saturday night, early Sunday, and it looks like we could have a good soaking rain with a little bit of thunder on that um, Sunday the 26th. That's next Sunday, a week from today, um, and continuing into that early Monday the 27th. Going on out toward the end of the period, looks like we're dry until probably Wednesday night over North Alabama, sinking uh, a little further south and uh, associated with a stronger low pressure system that'll move through the Ohio River Valley on Saturday or Friday the 3rd. I think that system does have the potential to uh, create some severe weather, and we'll have to watch that uh, very closely. Now, we talked about record highs, so let's get specific here. This is Tuesday the 21st, looking at Monroe, Louisiana, within a degree of their record high. Uh, 81 degrees is their forecast, the 82 the record, calling for 82 at Tallahassee. That's just a degree short of the record they set in 2019. Look at the records popping up like mushrooms on Wednesday the 22nd. 81 here in Birmingham is uh, what we're calling for. That would tie the record set five years ago in 2018. By Thursday the 23rd, the record highs are suppressed a little further to the south. You can see all along the Atlantic seaboard back through to the Ohio Valley, the Gulf Coast, and Florida. Uh, some very warm readings. We are calling for 83 here in Birmingham on Wednesday, and if that materializes, it would tie the record uh, set back in 1996. So, uh, as we said, uh, some interesting, um, some interesting high temperatures this week. By Friday, it's mainly Gulf Coast, uh, the coastal plains of Georgia and South Carolina, and Florida. But by Saturday, that makes a comeback. How about 82 at Columbus or 77 at Muscle Shoals? Those are going to be within at least a degree of the record highs for those dates, and we'll be watching to see if we set any. We will set records on the Weather Brains meter on Monday night. Dr. Christine Harper, fabulous book. Um, which, which is about the, um, the development of numerical weather prediction and its history. And um, it's just a great book. We'll talk to the author on Monday night at 7 o'clock. You can watch live on YouTube, just youtube.com forward slash weatherbrains, or get the uh, recorded podcast. We know that most of you listen to the audio version. Get it wherever you get your podcast released to the wild early Tuesday morning. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday the 19th. I'm uh, meteorologist Bill Murray. I'll have notes on the blog. I'll have a complete update on the forecast coming up at noon. Any developing weather situations? Good story on there uh, for the uh, Enigma outbreak anniversary. Go read that when you get a chance. And um, I'll be gone till next Sunday. James will be here all week with two a days. Scott will be back next Saturday. But when I sit in the seat again, I'll tell you, as I always do, to keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.